money, bless people with it. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 17 through 19. Command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, not to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Let them do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to give, willing to share, storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. As we close out this week, we've been talking about money and looking at a few biblical instructions concerning money. One of the things I want to bring to our attention is what God tells us to do with money. He says, you know, when you have abundance, when you have plenty, don't just keep it for yourself. He says, take what you have and bless others with it. Do good works with it. Do good things with it. Use it in a way that will bless the lives of people around you. Do good works. Be ready to give. Be willing to share. That means let this money, let this abundance that's in your possession make you a person who is generous, who is blessing others, who is giving to those who are in need or who do not have as much. So that's our posture. That we, that's a very important posture that we must take as God blesses us and gives us this gift of wealth and riches. That as God blesses us, we generously release it into the lives of those who are in need, who may not have as much as we have. And Paul tells us that when we do that, we lay a good foundation for time to come. That's something interesting. That when we give, it is actually setting us up in a place of strength for the life hereafter. There is an interconnect, and we can see it in, not only in this passage, but we also see it in a couple of other passages in Philippians uh, chapter 4 and also in Luke 19, where there is an interconnection between how we use wealth in this present life and with what will happen in the life to come. That he says here that we are actually building a good foundation for time to come, for the future, and it, we are laying hold on what is eternal. We are laying hold on eternal life. In Luke 16 and verse 9, Jesus said this, he said, And I say to you, make friends for yourselves by unrighteous mammon, that when you fail, that they may receive you into an everlasting home. So Jesus is telling us, you know, use your money to build relationships. Use your money to make friends, so that even if riches fail, Here's something that is even more valuable than money. It's the relationships. It's the friendships you build. And so he's showing us how use money to make friends. Use your money to build relationships. You bless people so that the people you've blessed, when money fails on your side, they are there to stand by you, to be with you. So use money to bless people. That's more valuable than just accumulating it for your own self. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will give us the grace to use the abundance that you place in our hands, to use the money you place in our hands, to bless people with it, to build relationships, to make friends, and that we will see that human relationships as greater value than money itself. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.